फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एट होम एंड एंजॉइंग द स्टडी सो स्टूडेंट इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न पर्सनल प्रोनाउन डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन एंड इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन सो स्टूडेंट पर्सनल प्रोनाउन पर्सनल प्रोनाउन इज यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ अ नाउन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही शी इट आई वी यू दे एंड ऑल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन इट इज यूज वेन वी पॉइंट आउट दी ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस दैट दोज दीज and interrogative pronoun it, it's used to ask a question for example what which why and all so in this video we will learn rest of the three pronouns reflexive pronoun emphatic pronoun and possessive pronoun so student let's start from reflexive pronoun in detail so student reflexive pronouns it is used when the object of the verb is also the subject of the verb so it is used when the object is also the subject of a sentence for example i help myself so myself it is a object of the verb help so student myself and i stand for the same person so the object is also the subject so let's see the another example For example, they hurt themselves during the game. So here, themselves, it is the object of the verb hurt. So them themselves and they stand for the same person. So the object is also the subject in this sentence. Then emphatic pronouns. It is used with a noun or a pronoun to draw attention or just to emphasize. So, student, what do you mean by emphasize? Emphasize is special attention put on something to give it importance. For example, I myself saw the sun. So here, myself is a emphatic pronoun, which is emphasize that I saw the sun. So she will do it herself. So here, herself is a emphatic pronoun. which is emphasize that she will do it then reflexive and emphatic pronoun is always remain same it always in in self and selves so student reflexive pronoun it is used when the object is uh, also the subject of a sentence and emphatic pronoun it is used with a noun or a pronoun to emphasize them so here is a some pronoun and they are reflexive and emphatic pronoun here so i myself he himself she herself it itself we ourselves so student the singular noun ke sath self lagega and plural ke sath selves lagega so we is plural so we will write Are such. They, they is also plural, so we will write them such. So you, you may be sometime singular and maybe sometime plural. When it will be singular, then we will use yourself. When it will be plural, then we will use your such. So student possessive pronouns. It shows ownership. We don't use apostrophe. to so show possession so the possessive pronouns are mine his theirs ours yours and hers so let us learn the correct use of possessive pronoun friend the book belongs to me so we can write in possessive pronoun the book is mine so let's see the another example the bike belongs to you so we can write in the possessive pronoun the bike is yours so the uh, the house is belong to us so we can write to use a possessive pronoun in this way the house is ours possessive pronouns and possessive adjective a possessive adjective is always used with a noun and it also qualifies the noun for example my dress is in the cupboard so here the uh, dress is a noun and my is qualifies the noun and it come before a noun so my is here is a possessive adjective and 
possessive pronoun comes after a noun. For example, the dress is mine. So here, dress is a noun and possessive pronoun is comes after the noun. My. See the difference between possessive adjective and possessive pronouns. So my is a possessive adjective. Mine is a possessive pronoun. Our is a possessive adjective. Ours is a possessive pronoun. Your is a possessive adjective and yours is a possessive pronoun. His is a possessive adjective and his also is a possessive pronoun. But the use of both are different. This uh, possessive adjective is used with a noun and it qualifies that noun. And possessive pronoun is always comes after a noun. So her possessive adjective and hers possessive pronoun. They are possessive adjective and theirs possessive pronoun. So the pronoun it has not the possessive possessive form. It is a possessive adjective only. Correct use of I and me. So at times we are not clear whether we use I or me in a sentence. So let's understand with their uses. For example, Radha and me or I. What will we use? In this sentence, are going to the market. So, solution, divide this sentence into two parts. Radha is going to the market. I am going to the market. So, Radha and I are going to the market. It is a correct use of I and me. In this video, we have learned about reflexive, emphatic and possessive pronoun. So student reflexive pronoun is used when the object is also the subject of a sentence. And emphatic pronoun, it is used with a noun or a pronoun to attention, to pay the attention and just emphasize. And possessive pro pronoun is show the ownership. So student uh, this uh, chapter is finished today and uh, I request you watch the video perfectly and do the work properly. Thank you.